Today I'd like to show you how to crochet hyperbolic coral. I'm only beginning my crochet journey so I'm still learning and I watched a few videos and thought that I could make a whale and so I started and I was increasing quite a lot and pretty much increasing twice in every single hole and this is what turned out of that instead of a whale and instead of feeling disappointed in this I made more. To start take your wool and make a magic circle. Start by holding the wool like this, crossing it over underneath your hand and then flipping your hand over so that it makes two lines. Insert the crochet hook under, grab that other one, turn it around, spin it in a loop and collect it again. I gently hold it and then I pass that bit through the hole like that. And that's it, that's your magic circle. You can see that I can pull it tighter and release it again. The next thing you'll need to do is make six single crochets into the magic circle. So you put your crochet hook in, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again, and then pull it through those two. And that's a single crochet. And that's the only uh, type of crochet that we're going to do in this coral. So I'm going to do it again, yarn over, in through the hole, yarn over, and then pull through two. It can be a little bit tight, just wiggle it if you're having trouble. So in through the hole, yarn over, pull it back through, yarn over again, and then through the two. After this project you'll definitely have the hang of single crochet and increasing, it's the only two techniques we're going to be using. Here it is one more time, so just put your hook in, yarn over, pull it back through the hole, yarn over again and then pull it through the two loops. On the side of your crochets you'll notice here that you can see little V shapes. By counting these you can see how many crochets you've done. If your hook ever falls out it's very easy, you just uh, need to try and put the hook back in. And you can see here that I've got six and I'm ready to pull that magic circle nice and tight and that was what will bring it into a circle for me to start crocheting. So gently pull both sides, there we go we've got the circle and the very first thing I do is I get my hook to go through the, the first V shapes that I can see and then I yarn over, I pull it through, I yarn over again and pull it through too. Now that one was quite tight so I think I go straight to the next one to make it easier. So straight through the back of the V's, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through. And in this project I'm going to be increasing every single hole twice, so I put it through the same V's, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over again and pull it through. And what that's done there is put two crochets into the one V. I'm going to do that again on the next and I'm going to repeat that the whole way through. As you progress it gets easier and less tight, just I find these first few ones a little bit difficult to get through. It's, it's very very simple and there's no pattern to this, it's basically just for every crochet V you slide in and then you add two more single crochets and as that expands you'll see that naturally the, the shape gets bigger and that's where the hyperbolic um, shapes come into it. I'm actually really excited that I made this uh, 
you know, mistake discovery because it really taught me uh, something. I, I feel sometimes making mistakes, you find out things the hard way, but it also teaches you things better than just hearing about it. And so now I really understand increasing and the hyperbolic kind of, you know, shapes and I, it opens up a lot of possibilities about what you can make with doing that. And instead of a whale, I've actually got an idea now of making my son's baby. He's only 16. One day in 10, 15 years time, he might have a baby. But I'd like to start making uh, that baby a little like coral garden thing. I don't know whether it's going to be like a, a mat that they have tummy time on or, you know, a mat that they lay on and all the coral and fish kind of dangle over. But I figured if I start now in 15 years time, it might be ready. To end your piece, simply pull or cut the wool. I then do a half single crochet, which I don't know if that's called that, but it's where you put it in through the V, pull it through, and then try not to drop it like me, um, and then pull it through again, and then just pull it all the way. And then when you tighten that, it's a nicer kind of ending than just ending it abruptly. And there we have it, a hyperbolic coral. And then I'll just weave that little end through. I think it's really cute. So when I start making the actual piece, I'll put these all together in a cluster and then I'll make enough that it looks really cool and then I'll start a different type of design. I've already started my next design. I don't know what to call them. They kind of look like little polyps, but I've got some wool. And I'll show you that in another video. But for now, I better go out and enjoy the sunshine. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting everyone.